Eight magicians, six golems, five lesser demons. We're all as good as dead, so I don't even know why I bothered. <laughs> Specklad died before I even finished that sentence. <laughs> One conjurer. What a reasonable uh, balance system this video game has. Uh, nineteen four. Okay, game hasn't uh, game hasn't fooled me yet. I am where I think I am. Okay, something is terribly, terribly wrong. Oh no, east is east. <laughs> Weird green door, says Van Whitman. This whole area's look is a bit questionable. Okay, no double flash. 96 Samurai! What a completely reasonable battle. Attack, 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 defend, use, uh, Frosthorn, defend. And then we just fast motion through this and get a ton of money. And a moderate amount of, uh, experience. They can't hit any of us because our AC in the whole front row is negative eight, negative eight, negative ten, negative seven. We're just like untouchable. <laughs> I could probably do even better if I, uh, you know, was more careful with my, my armor equipment. Come on, get to the, there we go. <laughs> now we're finally killing them. I forgot what the actual count was, so I'm just going to say many Samurais. Doot. Wow, that was in warp speed. That's how long it took in warp speed. 16,000 experience. Holy crap, it was real. <laughs> the, the experience was the good part there. And we got another heal harp, which we kind of don't need anymore. Uh, okay, let's uh, go ahead and save there and make sure I still have the frost horn and... Uh, I uh, quickly check that I am where I think I am. Zero three, I am where I think I am. Uh, and good. Boy, really, we interrupted quite the orgy there. There was like 70 samurai in, uh, in one very small closet. Uh, two conjurers and eight magicians. I might, once I figure out how this, uh, uh, how this level, like, works. I might leave this level... Oh, but, you know, to get back in here, it takes so long. I forgot you have to go through the... I was gonna say, I could use the level ups from this, but, like, it's not even worth it. <laughs> okay, that appears to have been a completely pointless room. Okay. Watch for double flashes. <laughs> hmm... My war giant has been doing pretty well, but we don't really know what a Zorn is. No, my war giant has been too amazing. We're not we're not getting rid of the war giant until he dies. But I'm not going to try very hard to make him not die. Okay, looks like that was all wildly pointless. Let's try and get uh, back out of there. Don't think I saw a double flash there. Don't think I saw a double flash there. Six lesser demons! I would say, when are we ever gonna fight greater demons? But hopefully the answer is no never, or like, only the final boss. Can only magic hit them? Is that what's happening here? Because I appear to be doing nothing. Well, they killed one of us, so to hell with that. <laughs> Let's just, uh, go here where I apparently actually saved. Really need to be better at marking where I saved, because I seem to just mark random places. Okay, maybe I'm here. <laughs> that feels right. <laughs> but Molo, the amount of progress we've made is genuinely incredible. Like, we are we are nearly done with this game. We will beat this game, perhaps not today. No, War Giant stays forever. He's my favorite War Giant. Look for double flashes. Eight Were Tigers, two sorcerers. They didn't let us run, really. <laughs> All of the bard songs, as it turns out, are 
just staggeringly terrible arrangements of what, you know, could quite broadly be classed as uh, classical music. You know, a little bit of opera, romantic, classical, baroque, but, uh... Uh... They're all bad, because it's all mono. <laughs> and this is the Commodore 64, known for its great music. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Hi, Fred. Bye, Fred. A sword of pack? A sword of pack? <laughs> is that Pac-Man's sword? <laughs> well, that would have been too easy. Number seven. They have ruined <laughs> Slavonic Dance number seven. Well, good for them. <laughs> the important thing to remember is they weren't stuck to mono. They made it mono because they're dumb. <laughs> Also, it restarts every time you, uh, enter a battle, which is always. Hey, 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 what did I miss, says Specklad? We're in the final dungeon! The final dungeon! And you only died, like, once! <laughs> There's a lot of battles here. Like, too many. Oh, that felt like a teleport. 13-8. That, that felt not like a teleport. Imagine I hadn't said that felt like a teleport, because it didn't. Final countdown, asks Van Whitman. I mean, it's gonna still be like infinity trillion years of this game, so no. How did I get in, asks Specklad. We needed an onyx key, because that makes no sense. Also, we never used the onyx key, it just had to be like on our person. Uh, eight sorcerers and seven sorcerers. And a partridge in a pear tree. Love these pointless rooms. Love them. Eight shadows, four horns, and five seekers. Oh, we have to attack these guys. Let's focus on the horns. We did it! Hooray! Another frost horn? Holy shit. That's really good, actually. Uh, let's see what's up here. Ahead lies the death field! <laughs> cool, I like death. Death is fun. Oh, darkness, you don't say. This appears to have also been anti-magic here. Eight lurkers, three policemen, who were also dragons. Did, did, I, did I actually move there? <laughs> I think I did. Yes, I did. Cool, a pointless room, I love it. Let's make sure I am where I think I am. Oop, the, the 8, 12, okay, so I haven't been teleported, uh, but this is not darkness. Okay. This is darkness. Oh, something exciting is happening here. <laughs> uh, yes, Mechlad, low is, is minus 10. Okay, that was darkness and a trap, cool, cool, always appreciated. Uh, Molo, it's not, it's not for this dungeon, uh, be not confused, it is our bard making this sound. This is our bard singing, like a bard do. Interesting. Oh, we're still in anti-magic, I just wasted that, okay. I, I can't mark all of the effects, I don't know what they all are, so, oh well. Uh, but it's not darkness anymore. Uh... You. Make it light. So yeah, the way you get background music in this game, as it turns out, Molo, is, uh, you make the bard sing some of his jolly songs, and, uh, then you have background music. Three Maze Masters! Or maybe Haze Master? Probably Maze Master. Ow! Ow! And the- the frost horn didn't kill any of them? <laughs> Ow! 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 Uh, I last saved right here. H-A-E-S, Master, says Mask Dragon. I'm gonna go with H-A-Y-E apostrophe S, Master, which has something to do with, uh, modems. That's why it's mono if you had two parts, you'd have harmony, says Molo. Oh, he's using a frickin' liar, so you would think not, but nah, that all follows. <laughs> ah, that's working. Okay. 
No, it's not working. <laughs> Good to know. Looks like these Maze Masters are more or less unavoidable here. This is probably always Maze Masters. Oh, but they let us run. So it can't have been a necessary unavoidable battle. Just something I don't happen to have encountered before. Well, that was pointless. Oh, you know what? It might... <laughs> I don't have the uh, ability to, like, see magic right now because of frickin' nonsense, so it might have actually been, like, I need to bump up against these walls. Okay, nope, that's actually garbage. Cool. New pet just dropped! New pet! That's not a pet at all! I have so many heal horns now, I may as well uh, make use of them, even though this is gonna be hideously slow. Uh, keep singing, you have to sing forever. Uh, so, Malo, you missed that there are many other musics that he can sing, but that's the good one, so... <laughs> or that's the good one in terms of its effect, and not in terms of its musicality. This whole area is killing us. Really annoying. Also, I forgot to mark this all in black to make it, uh... obvious that it was darkness. Ooh, we're out of the darkness, again. Can we do this? Are we out of the anti-magic area? We can! We're out of the anti-magic area, too! Mm-hmm. 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 What I'm looking for is that. Not anti-magic. <laughs> Weird for me to mark not anti-magic, but in this particular case, seems like a pretty good idea. Okay, I haven't gotten hideously lost. Uh... 14, 20, look at how not lost I've gotten. Or haven't gotten, or whatever. Am I still map completion in the ning, or am I trying to beeline straight to Mangar, says Specklad? I am not trying to do map completion, uh, but, you know, we'll see. <laughs> and this is an annoying group, actually. You know what? Uh, got another frost. All these, all these instruments that I thought were like ultra valuable, it turns out they're like a dime a dozen. They're just lying everywhere. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. This feels, to say the least, lame. Uh, but it also feels, to say the least, necessary. New trap just dropped. Use flesh restore so I don't waste any uh, anything potentially important. Let's get out of here, I need my mana! Need my mana! Okay, there was a trap somewhere there, and I didn't mark it, and I don't know exactly where it was, so I still haven't marked it. Cool! <laughs> Should have paid more attention rather than just trying to get the hell out of here. No, not a Fred! Fado! Yay! <laughs> Okay, be more careful about looking for, uh, uh, nonsense. Teleportation, that is. Watch for teleportation! Watch for teleportation! <laughs> We're finally in a situation where, because they only hurt one of us, I genuinely think, uh... Oh, found Ali's carpet, good for you. I genuinely think my best uh, bet is the heal harp, but it's been a long time since that's been better than rest. They call it a tower, but it's a sprawling complex, says Van Whitman. True. It's only five stories tall, to say, so saith the game. Uh, but given how wide it is, I think it's actually wider than it is tall, which makes it not really a tower. I think I underestimated the advantage of having a... Uh, Summon just to, uh, like, take damage for you? It's quite valuable. The game actually says how tall it is, says Specklad. We, we talked to the, uh, the, the Good Witch of the North. Ah, there was the teleport. There was the teleport. 720, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. okay, okay. Tele to 720. That is what I missed before! Uh, which is here. Okay. 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 
Uh, Speclad, yeah, we, we talked to Glenda the Good Witch, and she told us, uh, uh, told us how big this tower was, among other information. Then again, says Molo, the Tower of London isn't very tall either, but it is at least taller than it is wide, right? Wow, the 56 dwarves let us run, that's weird. Okay, that was another teleporter. Now we're here. Maybe it's a pyramid so higher levels are smaller, but pyramids aren't towers! Pyramids are pyramids! <laughs> uh, interesting. How did I ever get down there? Wait, is there yet another teleporter I have to go through? I never bothered with those, but I don't want to, so I'm not going to. <laughs> what about upside down pyramids? Are they tower as towers, asks Speclad. Interesting. I still think, like, the aspect ratio is the main thing. It has to be taller, uh, than it is wide. And otherwise, the shape is not important. It might be important to, like, being a, a structure, but it's not important to whether it's a tower. Eh, decent amount of experience. An adamant helm, which might actually be good for whom- Oh my god, leave me alone. Which might actually be good for whom- uh... Yep, that's a nice little, uh, improvement. I'm just gonna drop the Mithril Helm, because screw it! Uh, and let's rest. It occurs to me that I could have phase doored from, like, that very first area. <laughs> Which was how I got out of this situation, after all. Uh, wait, that's not where I wanted to go. Where, Tiger? My new pet. Also, who the F is Fred, says Van Whitman. I don't know, but we've killed hundreds of them. Head lies the death field. Uh, hold up a second. I haven't marked any of this as darkness because I'm a terrible, terrible person. It's easier to remember to do this in the initial sort of uh, uh, exploration of an area than when you come back to an area. Okay, just killed our were tiger. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, back to where we were, but with a lot more mana. Uh, and a lot more me still being, uh, in, uh, uh, the, the, the darkness mode. There we go. One Hydra and six magicians! Go away! Ahead lies the exit, O oh faithful ones. Now well, that's definitely a lie. Look for double flashes. A shadow for my dead were tiger. I will make that trade. Hey, you're required to sing at all times. Okay, this all this all makes sense to me. That's an empty room, neat. Four hydras and a Fred. An adamant mace. I really doubt if that's any good, so I'm just gonna drop it. More inventory management. Oh, you have a hawk blade attached. Or equipped, rather. But there's no way that an adamant mace is better than a hawk blade. I'll bet I can go left from here. I was right! <laughs> it's nothing! Love me a nothing! Wasn't even like a teleporter or anything exciting. Three conjurers, thirteen eye spies, which are really annoying. And one magician, and they didn't let us run. I don't know if I'm... Yeah, I was about to say, I don't think he's going to survive even long enough to be healed. I mean, you need to cheat a lot to make this game borderline playable, but at that point it is borderline playable, so that's something. It's not much. <laughs> Fourteen more eye spies. Oh, they let us go. Surprise. Boy, there are large groups around here, huh? Okay, that was pointless. Neat. I see. Tons of crap. Decent experience that I can't really use. Speclad found a weapon. What weapon? Who knows. No, not Skizzy. Uh, rest. What a pointless room! Hooray! Oh, this is definitely something. This is not just a trap. This is gonna be like a, an inscription, or, or the stairs, or some garbage. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Magic Mouth. 
really expecting him to say something a little bit more productive than perseverance in all things. Have we just been teleported? Oh yeah, that was a teleporter. 2013. No, that wasn't a teleporter. Okay. Eight magicians, one ice giant, and three basiliscos. Uh, focus on the basilisks from the front row. Use Frosthorn on the magicians. If I didn't have perseverance in all things, I wouldn't have gotten so far anyway, says Specklad. Yeah, that's abundantly true. Okay, thanks for turning Gauntman to stone. I think we have the spell that unstones? Maybe. Uh, focus on the basilisks. <laughs> Speclad points out it's stunned. Okay, cool. Whole front row turned to stone. Speclad is dead. Don't really want to do this anymore, actually. <laughs> Let's remember that we actually saved here, in spite of the fact that I marked it as saving somewhere else. And unfortunately, I don't really know that room, because I didn't actually get to see it, so... I'm gonna have to re-go into that room, even though it looks like I already explored it. Ooh, and we get a free titan. And a free golem. <laughs> Just in case we also wanted that. <laughs> okay, not as impressed by the titan as I was hoping to be, but whatevs. One mimic. Hmm. Let's just do one. Okay, bye. <laughs> I was expecting the mimic to be much more of a threat than it was. Tons of experience? Tons of experience. Come on, you know you want to. Ridiculous amounts of experience. Come on, Vigi game. Ow. Trap zap. Come on. Ludicrous amounts of experience. You know you want to. Wow. <laughs> I mean, it was ludicrous amounts, it's just ludicrously low. <laughs> and Van Whitman found Adamant Plate, which might actually be good. Uh, let me just check. Yeah, nothing. Nothing actually here. Uh, Van Whitman. That Adamant Plate you found, why don't you give that to uh, Gauntvin, because his inventory is full. Why don't you give that to Kyle? I think we might have some plain... Plate mail. Okay, why don't you give that to Hoomstendver? Because his inventory is full. <laughs> okay. Why don't you, uh, trans. Why don't you drop the adamant mace? Now, let's transfer the adamant plate to Hoomstendver. Okay, you're currently at minus eight, you're now at minus nine, so let's drop the adamant scale. It's just not worth doing the inventory management to sell these things, I'd rather just drop them. I just want to find the stairs, just show me the stairs. Just, like, show me the stairs. One Fred, thirteen body snatchers, and a mimic. Seven thousand two hundred fifty-three experience and a diamond dagger, which sounds good, but is probably actually not very good. <laughs> okay, who's and Kyle? Yeah, even yeah, you can't even use the diamond dagger. The magic users in the back. So, yep, I'm gonna drop the diamond dagger. Bye. It's an unidentified instrument. I guess let's keep it. I think I still have at least one inventory <laughs> slot free. <laughs> Eight magicians, six golems, five lesser demons. We're all as good as dead, so I don't even know why I bothered. <laughs> Specklad died before I even finished that sentence. <laughs> one conjurer! What a reasonable uh, balance system this video game has. Another damned dagger. And just like the last damn dagger, I'm going to drop it. Two gray dragons. This is defeatable, but I would prefer not to. Uh, just focus on the front row from the front row. Let's uh, attack the ivory monks with frost. Wow. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this video game. The, the really important thing to understand about this video game is that I hate it. Uh, and I hate it. No, you killed my Titan. Somebody had another figurine. I'm not going to remember who, but somebody did. Diamond Plate! Now we're talking! Now we're talking! 
Uh... Yeah! Now we're talking! Okay. Gauntvin, does it happen to be you? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, da -da 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 -da. You add the golem figurine. Uh... Okay, 61? Oh! <laughs> Apparently, uh, Speckline didn't say damn dagger, he said damned dogger, I didn't even notice, and would prefer not to have noticed. Uh, let me actually transfer the crystal sword to Hoomston. Uh, I really doubt if Gauntvin can even use Adamant Plate, actually, because he's a hunter, yeah. Uh, Kyle can probably use it, though. Not that he needs it. Um... Boy, do we drop the fire horn? Yes. Uh, give the adamant plate to Kyle. And if Kyle can't use it, honestly, I'm dropping it. Okay, bye. <laughs> Feels so weird to be dropping some of the most valuable items in the game, but, uh, oh well.